On her travels around the golfing world, our presenter Anna Whiteley is constantly picking up pearls of wisdom from the game's best to improve her skills and yours too. Wow! Today it's back to the drawing board, or rather the driving range, with coach Mitchell Spearman analysing the techniques of the top names. We're out here in Orlando on the driving range with our resident coach, Mitchell Spearman. He's back once again to help us both with our games. And uh, today, Mitchell, we are looking at some of the top players in the game and trying to work out what makes them just so great and hopefully picking up a few tips along the way to help me and you guys at home. So, Mitchell, first of all, we're going to look at a man who has been at the top of the game for a long time now. He's been dominating for a good couple of years, Dustin Johnson. Mm -hmm. What is it about his swing that makes him such a talented player? I think the first thing about Dustin is him as, a, as, a, as an athlete. He's the most athletic guy that's out there. He's tall, he's lanky, he's extremely strong, and he's developed his own style of golf swing, but there's things about that swing that we can really, that we can really learn. Obviously, he hits the ball an enormous long way. He gets a very flat flight. It's not a sort of high spinny, it's very flat. And the most notable feature he has in his swing, and is at the top of the back swing, he's what we call a bowed left wrist. His left wrist gets in this bowed position. There's a lot of advantages to that, and then there's some disadvantages. The advantages uh, for the club golfer is you get a strong club face, I'd say, you know, square to even a closed club face, and the club comes down more behind you, so the club head is actually put to the side. That means it's a shallower, more inside path into the ball. The con side of trying to do that is if you don't really use your body well through the shot, you're not going to open up your lower body as much, and therefore, at impact with a closed club face, you could hit some left shots. So it's something that you want to look at, OK, if I'm going to get my left wrist like this, the club falls behind me. Now, that does encourage the body to rotate more in itself. you just got to keep on going, going, going. So Dustin has been recorded as having his lower body as open as any player that's out there. And the reason is because the club face is closed and, and, and shut behind him. In his game, it's this nice flat ball flight, hits the ball an awful long way. The area he's really had to work on by obviously hitting the ball a long way is his wedges, getting them dialed in that he doesn't hit them too far and with too little spin. So that's what he really worked on in his game, was getting his wedge play. Because I'd say it's hard to be a great wedge player with such a bowed left wrist yeah. when it comes to controlling the face. Um, you've got this strong loft, so it's about strong loft. But you know, knowing your swing a little bit, Anna, I would say that it would be a good image for you because it mm -hmm. will help you stop getting that club face open and your left wrist a little bit cupped. So just working on this Dustin Johnson image will actually probably be quite helpful to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we can we can certainly give it a go. Right. So do you want to go ahead and hit one for <laughs> well, me? Well, you, I mean, you can give us a little a little demo first. Okay. So what we're talking about here is when he swings back, it goes into left wrist bow quite early. He's got awfully long arms and his arms just work up and up and up higher than mine will ever get and his wrist goes into this position here. Yeah. So the club um, just gets behind him, the club face points to the sky. When he starts his downswing, he pushes his pressure down his legs, his lower body opens up and at impact he just gets in a very open position. And from face on, his hands get very yeah, forward. Right. So as he comes in, you know, he has that look, his hands are a long way forward. That's what makes the loft so strong, hence the flatter ball flight. So he's a really good player into the wind. So mm -hmm. uh, Tiger was mentioning recently in a clinic that he was doing that, you know, when he's playing with Dustin Johnson, he can hit it further than him downwind because he hits it higher and rides the wind. But into the wind, Dustin just hits it further because he's got that really flat flight. So yeah. there's advantages and disadvantages with, with every swing. So if I was to feel that, what I would do in my swing, my Dustin image, is to just feel that my left wrist bows up to the sky and gets a little higher, and then I'm going to rotate my body open through the ball. So it probably won't look anything like Dustin, but it's just the image in one's mind. I'm going to feel high and open through the shot. Nice. I'll just do that one more time. So if I want to feel Dustin alike, I'm going to try and get my left wrist bowed, my arms high, and then let my lower body open up there through the shot, Anna. There we go. And so I for me, it. you know, that ball was a little lower for its flight, had a little bit of a draw, so I probably just didn't open up quite quick enough. Right, Dustin, so come on over here and let's see you? see what it feels like to you. Right, so we want slightly... So the feel for you, as you go back here, that Dustin Johnson feel is that left wrist gets into a little right. bit of a bow feeling. Okay. 
and you point it up to the sky. Mm -hmm. You feel that difference there? Certainly, yeah. And then you come down and it just now the club just stays to the side of you much more there. So that's the feel, the bowed wrist and the club face pointing down right. to the ground. And then you just go ahead and just turn your hips, turn your hips, turn your hips, turn your hips, that's it. And that's what brings the club face around to the ball. It's very in. Very in, isn't yeah. it? Very tucked into the side of you. In. And the club is very much that way, isn't it? It's a long way to the side of our body the yeah, whole time. Yeah, that's right. It's not out here, it's there. See, when it's out there, that wrist angle has changed. When you let it bend behind you and bow, it's to I, the side, I guess to the that's side, where a lot side. of his power comes from. That's where a lot it? of his power comes yeah. from. Yes, indeed. All right, well, let's see if you can have that image and feel. Do a little practice swing. Do Just a get a little, little sense of the DJ swing. So we're going up. And bowed, and yes. keep it bowed. Yeah, wonderful. That looked great. OK, DJ, here we come. There you go. So there we go. You know, that's a, a, straight, a, a straight shot, right? It didn't leak right, so that meant yep. that club face was stronger. So it's kind of fun to look at these great players, great swingers, and see what is it about their swing that I could take one little thing out that could yeah. be helpful for one's golf game. So I think for you, the, the bowed left wrist for Dustin will be a really good thing. You're hitting some shots right of your target and too high. Get yep. that DJ thought and it'll square no, you up. No, you're absolutely right. We will never compete with these guys. But as Mitchell said, if you can just take one little thing from some of the greats in the game, it will no doubt be a great help.